Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to do another unboxing of the Cosmic Crystal Box today. Thank you for joining me. Cosmic Crystal Box. Cosmic Crystal Box. For those of you who do not know, it is a monthly crystal subscription box. It's $17.99 per month and you can go to CosmicCrystalBox.com to subscribe and find out any other information you want to find about the box. If you have any questions, you can also drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So we are going to unbox the April box. So the March box was the first box. This is the second box. This box is also available in the shop at CosmicCrystalBox.com for individual purchase if you want it uh, because you already missed it. So you can't get it in the subscription box, but it is available there. So let's unbox this baby. So in this box, you receive two items just like the first box. And so the two things that you received and uh, is a crystal set that you get in this really nice purple velvet bag. I love these bags for holding my crystals. I really do. So you're going to get this and I'll show you this in a second. But first, I'll just show you, you got a rose quartz pendant. And it's just a simple little rose quartz pendant. It'll go really nice on a silver chain. But I thought that would be nice, you know. Rose quartz is one of those universal crystals that everyone should own. I know I keep talking about the crystals that everyone should own. Rose quartz is one of them, okay? So the cat's out the bag. You know, selenite was one. Now you know rose quartz is another. And um, it's just a really nice piece to have, whether you wear it every day, wear it sometimes. It's the unconditional love and it's not it's just not romantic love right it's love in general so that's love for yourself love for others love for the planet love for the world just just compassion and love and we can all use some of that don't you agree yeah <laughs> we can all use some of that some more of that no matter how much you have you could use some more. That's that's one of those. This is one of those things that no matter how much love, no matter how much compassion you have, you could use some more. Right. There's no such thing as too much. So this is a rose quartz pendant that you're going to receive. And um, it's kind of like one of those bonus things again. Like I just don't like putting one thing in the box. I'm just like, what else? What else can I put in there? And so that's what you received. You received a rose quartz pendant and then you received a sacred sleep set. So I posted on my Instagram not too long ago, well, maybe a long, <laughs> a little long ago now, maybe it was a couple of months ago, uh, crystals for sleep. And a lot of people were interested in, oh, well, what do they do? What are they for? And so there's a lot of different crystals that are associated with sleep for different reasons. So I don't want you to just think that these crystals are all going to be for like a nice night of tranquil dreams and you know, nice, easy going sleep because they're not. And that's why I gave you this information card with it. So you could know exactly what crystal is for what, because there may be different things that you want to do with your sleep. So the card that you get is the kind of crystal ball, flip it around, sacred sleep crystal set. So you will receive a lapidolite, a labradorite, a rose quartz, an amethyst, a clear quartz, and a sodalite. And these come in the form of small tumbled stones. Small tumbled stones. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. Can you see them? Yes, 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 yes. So I'm just gonna go in order on here and lapidolite is first. I love lapidolite. So I've probably said this in other videos. Lapidolite? No, I don't think I have because I haven't really done any crystal videos lately. So lapidolite is my favorite crystal as of lately for the last roughly about a year. Roughly about a year. So I actually just learned about lapidolite and I have been studying and working with crystals for a very long time. And that's one of the beautiful things that I love about crystals. There's always a crystal that you have never seen and that you have never heard about, no matter how long you have been dealing with crystals, because there's crystals that they're just finding that they've never even seen before. So you certainly haven't seen them before. That's what I love about crystals. Uh, so this is lapidolite. I, uh, my dad also sells crystals and, um, 
he had the lipidolite that looks a little closer to this picture here. So it's more of a slab form. It's a mica. So it comes in like those sheets. And I was like, what is this? I was so drawn to it. And I like carried it everywhere I went. I put it under my pillow. This is before I even knew anything about it. And that's why I say when you are drawn to a crystal, get it. You can look it up later, right? You can look it up later. And there's so many crystal websites that you don't even have to remember the name. It's nice if you do, it'll make it easier. But you don't even have to remember the name. There's websites where you can look, look up crystals by color and you know, you just put in purple crystals and they'll pull up a hundred purple crystals and you're like, there it is. That's it. That's the one lipidolite. And so if you are drawn to a crystal, get it, get it and figure out why later. So this is really another one of those universal crystals. I feel not as universal as rose quartz, but I really feel like lipidolite is, I won't say everyone needs to have it. Okay. I'm not going to be that dramatic, but you should, maybe you should. So let's just get into the crystals. Actually, I'll show you first. So that was lipidolite. And uh, let me just give you a close-up of lipidolite. Look how beautiful lipidolite is. It's a mica, so it has those beautiful pearlescent, shiny kind of light. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So that's lipidolite. You also get labradorite. And labradorite has nice flashes from time to time. You can kind of see them in there but it's generally like a dark, oh, you see that one at the top near my finger? It's generally a darker crystal with those blue flashes inside looking like the sky. You get lipidolite, you get rose quartz. So that's a nice chunk of rose quartz, same as the pendant. You're gonna get amethyst, nice tumbled amethyst. You're going to get a clear quartz, you know you can't, have crystal set without a clear quartz. So you'll get a clear quartz and then you'll get a piece of sodalite. Piece of sodalite. Okay, so now let's talk about each of these very briefly. So for the lipidolite, lipidolite helps to bring focus to your dreams, reminding us that within our dreams lies answers we are searching for. So I love to sleep with lipidolite under my pillow. It gives you a nice tranquil sleep. It helps you as far as, like it says, the answers that you're searching for. I find with Lapidolite, I have an easier time with dream recollection. So now selenite is also a crystal that helps with that. And so with selenite and Lapidolite underneath your pillow, I'm telling you, oh, that's a powerhouse right there. Boy, I love it. And I urge you to try each of the crystals under your pillow for sleep for yourself because each of these will affect us a little differently. And I'll tell you about one of the crystals on this list in a second as to how it affects me differently than it affects other people. But uh, so Lapidolite helps to bring focus to your dreams, reminding us that within our dreams lies the answers we are searching for. Next up, Labradorite. Labradorite, and that's the one that, oh, you see the flashes? You see them in there? It, you know, they, they're kind of like, they call them, oh, look at that. Boom, I know you see it. Labradorite. Labradorite decodes your dreams. Sleeping with it under your pillow can give you a prophetic dreams and wisdom regarding your life path. So a lot of people use dreams to answer questions that they may have uh, subconsciously that they don't even know that they're looking for. And you receive answers in your dreams about things that might bother you or things that you're wondering about, or like this says, your life path, your life purpose. And so lapidolite is it's not lipidolite. Labradorite is wonderful for that. Now I'll say labradorite for me, I've slept with labradorite under the pillow. It is nice. Uh, it doesn't give you a nice tranquil sleep though. I'll say that. So if you're looking for nice, pleasant, tranquil dreams, I have not found that to be the case with this. That's not what it's for. Rose quartz. Oh, rose quartz. Rose quartz is so wonderful. So rose quartz. Oh, isn't that a nice piece? Rose quartz helps to bring a sense of love, emotional healing, and gentleness. Rose quartz is comforting, calming, and soothing. And what more else could you ask for in your dream state? You want to feel comforted. You want to feel soothed. You want to feel love and tranquility. And that's what rose quartz can do for you in your sleep. Just give you that peace of mind, which is everything is okay. 
everything is peaceful and love. It's just everything's okay. So rose quartz is a really nice one to sleep with under your pillow. And it couples well with other crystals as well. Next up, we have amethyst. Now, what I was saying about you testing these out and trying them out for yourself, amethyst is one of those. So now I have an asterisk next to amethyst. Can you see that? I have an asterisk next to two crystals. And I have an asterisk next to amethyst because this might be too stimulating for you. So test it out. So amethyst is associated with the third eye or brow chakra, along with the crown chakra sometimes, right? And so those are going to be, once they are stimulated, once they are open, they, they can, you can be very, it can be very active. That's what I'll say. For lack of better words, it can be very active. So it may not be a peaceful and tranquil sleep at all. It may be a very active sleep, a, a sleep where you are really digging and delving into your inner self and answering things that you may not have need, known you needed to know, right? So with amethyst, I'm telling you, every time I've slept with this, slept with this under my pillow, I wake up feeling like I did not rest. The dreams are so racy and speedy. There's a lot of running and activities happening. And um, it, I just don't prefer it for myself. I love amethyst and I love to work with amethyst as far as maybe meditating, but sleeping now. However, other people say differently. People love amethyst to sleep with. So I say, try it, try it. And for amethyst, it helps facilitate out of body experiences. So if you're into, if you want to do any sort of out of body experience while you're asleep, if you want to, um, brings intuitive dreams, right? So like I said, answering those inner questions, uh, amethyst is great for lucid dreaming and astral projection or astral travel. So if you're interested in astral projection, if you're interested in astral travel, if you're interested in lucid dreaming, then amethyst is the, might be the one for you. Selenite is also wonderful for lucid dreaming and much gentle, much more gentler, gentle for, in my opinion. But um, try it out. See if you like it. You just might. It's just not my crystal of choice for that. However, that is what it's known for. Next up, we have clear quartz. Clear quartz helps to clear your energy and shield you in a positivity while you sleep. So now clear quartz is also going to be one of those crystals that I do in the top five. So I'm going to go into it in detail. Clear quartz, everyone must have. It's an amplifier. Uh, it helps bring clarity and we can all use clarity, right? So a lot of times when you'll say, is that clear? It's crystal clear. It's crystal clear, like a quartz crystal, crystal clear, right? And so crystal... Quartz, clear quartz crystals are wonderful because they amplify energy. And so you can use them with other crystals. So you might want to do a combination like this when you sleep. You can beat that. Look at that. You got that love amplified. Wonderful. So you might want to try that. I would couple this with almost anything. I'd couple clear quartz with almost anything, uh, but test it out for yourself. Test, always test it out for yourself. Always see what works best for you. Sodalite is the last crystal, and I don't know where it is. There it is. So sodalite is that blue, kind of looks like denim blue. And sodalite is another crystal that I have an asterisk next to because it may cause racy, speedy, kind of uh, sleepless nights. But if you're using it, you're not using it for a sleepless night. So, I mean, for, for a restful sleep. You're, you're using it for something else. So I don't like sodalite under my pillow. However, I know people who do. So check and see if you like it under yours. Creates a fast play mode type of dreaming. And it does. And I don't like that. But some people do like that. And if you are one of them, this is for you. Helps develop psychic abilities and tap into your subconscious mind. And then I just have an asterisk might be too stimulating. So test this one first. So definitely test that one out first, this and the amethyst, just to see. You may find that with sodalite, I don't even think I made it a whole night 
with sodalite under my pillow because it was even racier than the amethyst. And I think that about midway through, it was just more than I was looking for at the time for my sleep because I wasn't using it for what I just mentioned. I was just going to sleep and I like to test crystals out under my head when I go to sleep. And I was like, nah. And I woke up to like go to the bathroom and took it away. So it's not my favorite, but it might be your favorite. So have you used any of these crystals under your pillow for your sleep, whether it be for tranquil sleep, whether it be to receive answers from your inner self, higher self, whether it be to lucid dream or whether it be to astral project? Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. This is natural. Peace out.